I still remember when I was a little girl uh, back in Vietnam. We lived close to an Air Force base. My brother was a helicopter pilot in the South Vietnamese Air Force. And during the war, I remember many times standing by the gate, waving goodbye to him after his short holiday with us, with tears streaming down my face, thinking this might be the very last time that I ever saw him again. Never forgot the 58,000 Americans plus the other 260,000 South Vietnamese soldiers who died in that war. So I feel that I owe my second chance in America to all of those people. As soon as I graduated from college, I found my way uh, to U.S. defense. About um, a month right after the um, September 11th um, tragedy, I got a request from the Defense Threat Reduction Agency to see if we could help come up with a weapon to um, help our guys in Afghanistan. The explosive itself could take five, seven, sometimes ten years to develop. We did not have five years. So within 67 days, uh, my team of over 100 scientists and engineers and technicians and uh, support contractors we came up with a weapon which is now known as the Blue 118B. A thermobaric weapon could last longer and travel much uh, greater distance to reach the target deep inside the tunnel so that our guys would not have to flush out these hills or caves by foot. As a scientist, my hope is to give them the best means, the best tools that they could have so that they could return intact to their family. That's how I see my job. So um, as an adult working for U.S. defense, every time I hear a report in Iraq or in Afghanistan, I would immediately thinking of me as a little girl standing by that gate. So I always vow that I would want to do anything and everything I can to make sure that our guys are coming back to their little sister waiting by the gate.